What's up guys, this is Osas from Samsung Galaxy S3 Soft Monitor and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Sectos Video and Photo Vault application. Um, so the first thing you want to do is obviously download that in the Google Play Store. It's called Sectos, that's S-E-C-T-O-S and it's short for Secret Photos. Um, basically what the app does is it takes those photos that you've taken or those videos that you have on your phone and it hides them within the app so that somebody searching or snooping through your phone can't just stumble upon it or search for it unless they somehow get the access code to the Sectos app. So we're just going to open it up. Initially it'll ask you to enter in a, a passcode to set up. So I have mine right there. It'll take you into the app. Now if you do forget that, if you do forget that passcode, you can go here, click on this icon and go to forgot unlock code and then from there it will ask for an email address and then it will send you your unlock code so first thing we're going to do is obviously add photos that we want to hide so right now I don't have any photos I click on this icon and it will take me to my public photo so these are all the photos or videos that I already have on my phone that aren't hidden so I'll go to my camera and I'll tap and hold and I'll take these first three and I'm gonna to wanna to hide them so I'm gonna click on this icon which looks like an eyeball with an X through it and I'm gonna hide those and then it's gonna be automatically imported to my secret camera section on Sectos. Um, if you wanna automatically just take a photo and have it hidden you can use the camera in the Sectos app you can just take a picture of whatever you want doesn't really matter I'll just take a picture of this save it and that photo will automatically be saved into your secret camera section on the Sectos app. Um, next I'll show you if you want to unhide a photo for some reason or not, for some reason, it doesn't really matter, you um, can just select that photo or a group of photos and then click on the eyeball. You'll notice that the X is no longer there. So instead of making it invisible, you're making it visible. You click and those photos you see right there it says four photos restored will now go back to your gallery um, you can also hide the application so obviously if you have somebody snooping through your phone and they run across this app they could somehow gain access to those photos if they could break your passcode so in order to hide the app you're gonna go into Sectos again go to the settings option see privacy settings and then you're gonna click or uncheck that box that says show app icon you uncheck that and then you'll give, be given a secret phone number and it's star star one two three four pound 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 and you're gonna use that number from now on to open the app since there's obviously no icon for you to click on so we'll click OK we'll remember that number we'll go back out you'll see it's still there click on it it says application not installed so what you're gonna do is reset the phone so we're gonna reset the phone just to make sure that our changes are actually accepted we set the phone and when it's resetting we'll just wait and then when it turns on the app should no longer be there and it won't be a, it won't be on the home screen or in the menu but this app is really good it's really easy to use and it's just I mean, you've heard all the stories of somebody snooping through your phone and finding whatever picture you took of your girlfriend or your boyfriend or somebody sent you a ridiculous picture, which I get all the time. You just want to alleviate the stress of having to worry about anyone snooping through your stuff and just hide your photos. This isn't like an intense or like encrypting thing. It just hides it from the search. So nobody can find it unless they're in the app. So let's go back and see if it's actually... It shouldn't be there anymore. You'll see that it was right there before. It's gone. It's also not going to be found in here either. So that app is now hidden. So we're going to access it by going to the phone. It was star, star, star. One, two, three, four. Pound, pound, pound. Hit call. It'll take you right there. And now you're right back into your app. Um, Another cool thing about the app is you can 
automatically um, link it to your Dropbox account. You can see it right there, Dropbox. So we'll just click on that. Link Dropbox, you obviously need a Dropbox account to link to. I've already done that, but it'll ask you for your, your Dropbox email address and password. Once you enter that in, you'll be taken to this screen, and then you're going to want to click Allow. And now you can back up and auto back up all the photos that you've taken with Sectos or have in Sectos um, to your Dropbox account. And another cool thing is, even though you're backing up these photos, they can't actually be seen on a computer or on anything with the Dropbox. It actually changes the file type towards no longer an image. So that's also really cool. So you won't have to worry about that. You still have access through Sectos for those photos, but somebody else trying to gain access to your Dropbox account or whatever can view those photos. So that's really it. It's an awesome app. Make sure to download it in the Google Play Store. Also make sure to comment, like, and subscribe to our channel. And check out the full tutorial on our site. All right.